Hi, welcome to Kids Church. We're so happy that you get to be here with us. Now, this is not gonna be like real Kids Church. I want you to do the motions if we're doing motions. If we wave our hands, we want you to wave your hands. Mom and Dad, get involved. We want everyone dancing, we want everyone screaming, we want everyone to be as, as excited as you are if you were really here. Now, I've got Sister Amber and Kelsey with me. Now, this is what we're gonna do. We gotta start it off right. We've got to stretch because we have been in the, cooped up in the house for days and days and days and days. And so we gotta stretch. So everyone hands up and touch your toes. Hands up and touch your toes. Now everyone lean this way. Lean, 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 brother. Lean, brother. Come on, mom and dad. Come on, mom and dad, you gotta stretch. Now everyone lean this way, lean this way, lean this way. Come on, you gotta stretch, you gotta stretch, you gotta stretch. Arms up and down. Arms up and down. Arms up and down. I think I wore them out. <laughs> Now, we're gonna start off with a game. All right. We are doing charades. Who loves charades? I, I do. do, me! Okay, kids, so you stand up and you get involved. The actions are animals and movements. That's your hint. So we're gonna start with Sister Kelsey. Here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna either act out an animal or an everyday action. And then when I'm finished, I'm gonna count to one, two, three, and then you get to guess, okay? Are you ready? All right, let's start. Ready? One, two, three. Did you guess? If you guess brushing your teeth, then you're right. Sister Mikkel, you're up. All right, so an animal or an action? I got you. All right, so here we go. Are you ready? One, two, three. Now I want you to guess. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, if you guess lion, you got it, Sister Amber. All right, here we go. Now it's your turn, guess. Ready? One, two, three. If you guess sleeping, you get a point. All right, Sister Kelsey. All right, we'll have one more. So make sure you pay really close attention to this one, okay? Ready? Are you sure? Okay. Ready? Okay, guess. One, two, three. If you guess cat, kitten, kitty, anything similar, you got it. Sister Mikkel. All right, hey guys, now we're gonna do our worship song. Now remember, we're doing this all for Jesus. So I want you to get involved. I want you to sing the song. I want you to be loud. I want you to do the motions really, really big. But Sister Kelly's has gotta teach them to us first. All right, if you have ever been to Kids Church with us, I can almost guarantee that Deep Cries Out is one of your absolute favorites, because it's one of mine. So whenever the song says deep cries out, that means deep inside your heart, you are crying out because you love Jesus so much. So it starts, I've got a river of living water, a fountain, so you're gonna turn into a fountain, a fountain that never will run dry. It's an open heaven that you're releasing and we will never be Denied. And then you're gonna get this big imaginary stirring stick out because we're stirring up deep, deep wells. We're stirring up deep, deep waters. And I want you to bust out your best dance move because it says we're gonna dance. Sing it out. It's an open heaven. 
spicy words. So let's think about it together. I've got a bunch of really cool yummy props with me. Peanut M&Ms. Think about it in your head. Are these things sweet or spicy? Down here we've got flaming hot onions. Those are really good. Oreo thins. These are okay kids. These are the Oreos that adults eat. Oreo thins are the ones that are for adults. Y'all can have the other ones. And then we've got sriracha. 
If you have this at home, I do not suggest eating a whole bunch of it. Just saying, parents, keep an eye on your sriracha. We have donuts. Oh, donuts are so good. They're one of my favorite breakfasts, and I can just eat them. Oh, hi. Okay, so we've got donuts, and then we've got cayenne pepper. I know this is a little can, but a little of this goes a long way. So we've got cayenne pepper and then, ooh, strawberry jelly. Grape jelly's my favorite, but strawberry's really good too. And then last but not least, jalapenos. Do you like jalapenos on nachos or your cotton candy or... Sorry, that was something else. Anyway, so we've got sweet stuff and we've got spicy stuff. So let's think, how can this compare to what's going on right now? You're stuck in your house with all of your relatives, whoever lives with you, and you can't really go anywhere right now. And sometimes you tend to get in arguments, don't you? And those are what we call spicy words. So we have spicy words and sweet words. Sweet words are the words that we want to use. You're so nice. Thank you for helping me. Can I do anything for you? I don't like you. I don't even want to be here. Why are you? Get out of my room! Spicy words. And I heard tell that there's a couple of sisters that have been fighting. Let's go check on them. Oh, I cannot believe it. Jessica. Oh, Brittany, why are you yelling again? Why are you wearing my shirt? Because it's cute and you let me borrow it. Why are you wearing my headband? Because it was in my bathroom. That's not how that works. Look, I'm sick of this. I know we're in here 24 seven, seven days a week, all the stinking time right now. That's not but my this fault. Is, this is not yours. It is. No, it is my no, headband. It's yes, not it's yours. I got it for Easter. I wore it with my last You want pictures? I'm gonna, gonna get my phone. I Let's, get go get mom. Oh. Let's go get mom. Let's go get mom. Or what? What? What's mom gonna do? We'll take this out. Freeze! Okay. This is not what should be going on in your houses right now. Are those sweet words or spicy words? She was blaming her for her headband or her shirt or I, I, I lost track. They've been locked in their house. Well, not locked in their house, but they can't really go anywhere right now. She is at her throat. She is at her throat. And all they're doing is arguing. How much peace is that bringing into your house when all you do is argue? In the Bible, it talks about the power of death and life are in the tongue. So, we're going to rewind a little bit and see if Brittany... And Jessica can show us how to turn those spicy words into sweet ones. <laughs> Jessica, hey, yeah, have you seen me. my... I'm just getting ready. My shirt, that looks so good on you. Dude, is that my headband from Easter? Oh my goodness, I think I have a picture. You know what, you should just go get dressed and put that back. You would look so pretty. Thanks. We're stuck in this house, wanna have a photo shoot. That is such a that good idea. Funny. You know what, but before this photo shoot, yes. guess what I've been wanting to do? What? Let's go play Sorry. Oh girl, as long as it's not Fortnite, I'm ready. Okay. So in the beginning, Jessica and Brittany threw around some majorly spicy words. Just like if you were to take the sriracha and put a little bit on your tongue, those words that come out of your mouth are sharp. Whenever you use sharp words with your friends and your family, your family especially right now, because those are the ones that you are the closest to. We want to make sure that we're using sweet words. Words that build each other up. Words that cause peace to happen in our houses. Not arguing and fighting. Because like I mentioned earlier in Proverbs 18:21, death and life are in the power of your tongue. So whatever you say can bring life to your house or it can bring death. It can bring arguing and fighting and bickering just like Jessica and Brittany. She had her headband and t-shirt. It was an argument that didn't need to happen. So once we rewound everything and they started using sweet words, so much more peace got brought to their house. Things right now are crazy and we don't know exactly what's going on, but you have an effect on what happens in your house. In Proverbs 16, 24, it says, Pleasant words are like honeycomb, sweet to the soul, 
and health to the bones. So the words that you use can bring life and they can be sweet. I don't have any honey, but I have jelly and it's real close and both of them are great on biscuits. So the words you use can be sweet or they can be spicy. And in Proverbs 15, one, it says, a soft answer turns away wrath, but grievous words stir up anger. So just like Brittany and Jessica were at each other's throats, arguing, saying angry things, what you say, especially right now, whenever you're with your family, makes a big impact. Guys, we heard an amazing lesson from Sister Kelsey. Now, what we gotta do is, I know that some of us have probably said a few mean things to each other. What we're gonna do is we're going to repent. I can't repent for you, I can only repent with you. So, I want everyone to get involved. I want you to bow your head and close your eyes if my teachers would come beside me. I want you to bow your head and close your eyes with me. Everyone bow your head. Dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. Please, please forgive me. Forgive me for everything that I've thought. For everything that I've thought. Everything that I've said. Everything that I've said. Everything that I've done. Everything that I've done. Everything that I've heard. Everything that I've heard. Jesus, Jesus, I'm gonna try and do better. I'm gonna try and do better. But I need your help. But I need your help. Thank you. Thank you for forgiving me. For forgiving me. Now I feel better, and I hope that you feel better too. Make sure to join us next week for a whole new lesson. And remember, kids. Brother Shatwell and Mama Doe and our leadership team love you guys. See you next week.